Hey everyone, my name is Perry, I'm an electrical engineer, and in this video we're going to watch Bloodshot to see how accurate all the signs of technology in this movie really are. Catastrophic injury, rebuilding damaged tissue. So those are in my blood. They are your blood. That is really interesting because if these nanites are replacing blood, then they have to do the job that red blood cells do because he still has his uh, skeletal structure and other organs and he's still, you know, biologically a human. These nanites need to be refueled all the time because your blood is working 24-7, right? Like it doesn't stop when you're sleeping or something like that. So it, it, this is one of the issues like nanotechnology and putting it into someone's body is that if you just have like dead little chunks of metal floating around, this can cause some serious damage to any and all of your tissue. So one thing is they have to stay charged, otherwise what's keeping you alive is gonna kill you. Okay, T, he's almost down to nothing. That's impossible. He's overclocking in the night. If he doesn't stop, I won't be able to bring him back. Really, really cool. I, I I've never seen like a movie where it actually shows overclocking a computer like this. What overclocking means is that you are increasing the speed of your computer above what the manufacturer of your CPU had actually desired. The computers that you purchased, just you know, from like uh, Amazon or Best Buy, whatever store you purchase them from, or the Apple store if you're purchasing Macs, they are not built to be their highest performance which is why people will overclock them or make their computers much faster. So for those of you who are interested in overclocking your devices, I would suggest getting a alternate cooling unit because your computer is going to get really, really hot. I one of the army's most successful marksmen until an Iraqi mortar took his sight. We've since remedied that with ocular prosthetics. Gear mounted camera arrays feed directly into his optic nerves. Which means these are some incredible inventions like especially that the one that I'm thinking of is what she has it makes her immune to inhalants and air pollution and for me personally that means no more allergies to pollen which is huge picture that is getting with the lenses up to the optic nerve that's for one a crazy wild invention that's really gonna be a game changer you've cured blindness and not only that you've made a person who's blind with these cameras have better vision than someone with biological eyes like we're not chameleons like we can't look in two different directions at once and like create two different images in our head we ha both of our eyes are facing the same thing at any given time otherwise you cannot focus on it in this situation you've got to perceive so many images at once like it's going to become pretty overwhelming he's so good i use some of his open source code in this program Wait, you used open source code in my billion dollar prototype? Jesus, Eric. He's really smart. If he's so smart, then what's he doing with Barris? And why didn't we hire him? Uh, open source code just means that you, you've taken uh, code that's like free use. Like well, if, some, if some engineer has actually typed it up and written it for one program or for one purpose, they can upload that section to the internet so anyone can just download it and use it for whatever they want. So the reason this guy's probably upset is like, you're using open source code for billion dollar prototype like basically it's like why are you using somebody else's work for what was supposed to be like our proprietary technology which is probably why this guy's like why didn't we just hire the other guy why do we have you the idea that you're going to just start from you know blank canvas and type up thousands upon thousands of lines of code for every new piece of technology is ridiculous most of the stuff that we're building has a base very, very seldom do you actually design anything from scratch. You are starting from what's already been done and then building upon that. Do we even know how to fly? I'll find a way. You'll find a way? What does that mean? downloading information like that directly into your brain which is the exact same thing as reading a book or studying you are downloading it into your brain for memorization that whole log of the Gulf Stream plane and the the instruction manual and how to use it and everything like that this is something that engineers are going to use a lot especially when we're developing new products or having any reference materials 
like those giant books that nobody wants to look through we've got to look through them to see how things work how can we adjust them because if something goes wrong you want to be able to pinpoint what is not working the way it's supposed to and the only way to do that is to read that long ass manual and figure out what is out of place and that respect needs to be reciprocated in texas is that a lot of people's air conditioners were actually like just overrunning the entire time and the power grids were shutting down what happened was those power companies were had they had the access to digital thermostats that were in so many people's homes and they adjusted the temperature inside of those residential properties now this is obviously a far more reaching version of that but to give these large technology companies and service providers the ability to tell you hey it's a hundred degrees outside but we're gonna control your AC and tell you how you're comfortable this is a lot dilation looks good no sign of submacular hemorrhaging there's no redness very clear all right what happened to me? what am I doing here the reason that this doctor is like sh shining that light in his eye is to see if the pupil or the black part of your eye constricts you're testing to see if the guy's brain dead but he's a doctor so I probably should know that you don't need to do that if the guy is sitting upright and can have a coherent conversation he's obviously not brain dead so I'm I'm not sure why this doctor thought it was necessary to do that bloodshot was excellent thank you guys so much for recommending this movie to me because it was awesome in so many ways i purposefully didn't talk about the augmented arms and how they give you increased strength because i've already discussed that in some of my previous videos and i strive as much as i can to be original in each of the different like content because i don't want like people who are subscribed to watch like the same discussion over and over again and I, sometimes it's unavoidable but in this particular case i've already discussed that with like iron man and other superheroes who use like electricity and different forms of power to lift heavier objects thank you guys so much for watching stay fresh and stay golden